everyone! For once, I am making this video without having to pause every few seconds because I can hear my mum and dad chatting downstairs and without having to raise my voice over the sound of the TV in the lounge because currently I am home alone. <laughs> Now if I was home alone 10 or even 15 years ago, you might expect the situation to look a little bit like this. Party time! Woo! Chug, chug, chug! Actually, I was too much of a goody two-shoes even in my early 20s to spend my weekend wrecking the house with a big party, but at the age of 37, I can comfortably say that Having a house to myself for the weekend just means having Leslie over to stay and binge watching stuff on telly. Um, yes I'm still watching Netflix. I don't particularly care that it's just gone one in the morning and I've been here for five hours. I do want to watch another episode. And yes, I am 37 and that probably is much, much too old to still be living with my parents. And it's been amazing having some independence this whole weekend where I've been in charge of the house. And it's made me realise just what I'm missing out on by being too poor to be able to live away from my parents. Of course I haven't been entirely on my own. As I mentioned, Leslie came over to stay for the weekend which was lovely and when she hasn't been around I've also had my faithful hound for company. I've been talking to the dog a lot because what I've discovered is when I'm in the house all by myself I need to talk to someone and if it's not the dog I will literally just have an entire conversation with myself. Talking to the dog is marginally less weird. Hmm. I know that's tasting really nice, Rusty. I think maybe it needs a little bit more salt, Rusty. What do you think? Do you think it needs more salt? Rusty, tell me, does it need more salt? But I can take care of myself. I can cook. I can look after the house without it all falling down around my ears. I can drive if I need to go to the shops for anything. So actually, being by myself this weekend has been a breeze. There's only one point during the day when I start to realise I'm on my own and things get a little bit strange, and that's bedtime. Because during the day, I can fool the world into thinking I'm a rational, sensible adult. But at night time, I become incredibly aware of every single sound this house makes. And my mind goes places. Was that a floorboard creaking? Just naturally? Do floorboards just creak naturally? Has someone come in the house? Did I lock the front door? Am I about to be murdered? <gasps> But hey, thankfully I've managed to keep both myself and the dog alive all weekend whilst enjoying full control over the television and choosing whatever I want for dinner and deciding what time I want to eat it. Mmm, midnight snack! But yeah, having all this independence has been amazing and I really wish Leslie and I could afford our own place. If you're a millionaire watching this and you feel sorry for me, feel free to buy us a house! Meanwhile, there's a couple of hours left until my parents return, so I'm going to go and talk to the dog some more. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can click on my floaty head to subscribe, and last week's video is over there. And while I'm mentioning it, thank you for all your lovely comments on that video. It's really meant a lot to me. I'll talk to you all next week. Bye!